Aha! Dinky do me heart is. Tis me, Scotty McClue, just saying hello to you. Monday evening, nothing is past me, of course, and so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to every single one of you. Hope all is well with you, that you're having a lovely, lovely Monday. Are some of you actually on bank holiday? That would be interesting to find out if you're actually on bank holiday. Excellent stuff. And uh, you can come and have a chat. Let us know what you're up to, of course. And uh, there's Fiona Summers and Tony Bamford. Lovely to have you all with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. And of course, the one stop broadcaster just for you. Saying Dinky Doo, Lisa Trainer. Hi. Lovely to have you all with us. I know you're not used to seeing me popping up on a Monday evening, but I thought I'd just say hello to you. Are you finished with Nation Radio, says Alan McGee? No, certainly not, Alan. Uh, Sunday night only though there but we did have a production problem last night so I didn't make it last night Fiona Summers hi Woo! lovely to see you all come on and have a good old chit chat everybody all right Scotty big man hope you're well very well Rab lovely to hear from you and I hope you're well and that things are going well for you marvelous fellow Jason Connolly dinky do Kareem Zakaria hello Kareem lovely to have you with us Martin Rowe excellent dinky do Scotty good evening says Andy McCrory good evening Andy excellent stuff where's your bonnet says Sid Harris it's here Sid I have it here and we can put it on if you prefer no problem at all hi Scotty when you're on the radio Sunday nights why were you not on last night says Jason we had a production uh, problem last night Jason so uh, I couldn't make it on last night and our, uh, our producer was indisposed. So there you are. Nikki Harvey winning. Lovely to have you with us. Can you say hello to my daughter, Joanna, please, Scotty? Hello, Joanna. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Linda Stirling's watching Dinky Doo. Linda, lovely to have you with us. Ricky Doyle, excellent stuff. You can all get sharing and let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live. Where's the bonnet? Hello, Scotty. Hope you're well. Missed you on the radio last night. We need you on during the week. Dance music at the weekends says Tony I know Tony absolutely I understand Phil Syme dinky do lovely to have you with us I hope you're well all these wonderful people Neely Davy Cooper McCallum whoops there it is Scotty McClue the icon as we speak wonderful stuff Henry Anderson's watching dinky do Henry I hope you are fine and everything is working out well for you and uh, David Cordingly hi Scotty hope you're well Keep doing the do, absolutely doing the dinky do. I've been dealing with idiots on uh, on my account, so I've had to block a few idiots. There we are, Stuart Main, dinky do. It's not the same without you in the evenings, says Alan McGee. I know, Alan, I do understand. Happy birthday to my pal, Karen Scotty, says Charles A. Diver. Of course, Charles, an absolute privilege so to do. I wouldn't stand for this on Scott FM. Not at all. Scott FM really was an, an extraordinary uh, thing. There's Dermot Scotty McVicker watching in uh, Canada. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. British Columbia. Uh, Chris Spires and Thomas Cochran, welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. Raymond Benz has joined us. That is fantastic. Now, guys, I shall all need to get sharing, of course. So there we are. I shall see if I can do that. Lovely photo behind you, Scotty, looking very dapper. And um, so there we are. John Boyle, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. And um, we can't make comments like that, John, I'm afraid. So there you are. So we'll have to just delete that, but you're still on. Remember, of course, we can just dump anybody on here if they need to get a red card if they overplay their hand that's the sort of thing wonderful stuff Jonathan Darwin did you do good evening Scotty excellent lovely to have you all with us of course how wonderful is that just inviting a few folk there uh, Raymond Benson welcome Raymond I hope you're well lovely to have you Jen Wilson Hilton hello Jen how are you and dinky do from me Scotty McClue Stephen McNeely sorry this is John not at all John no problem at all it's just we can't do it so therefore it has to go but as I say you're still on so you're all right can you say hello to my daughter's friends says Alan McGee of course I can Alan that's what we do we do a lot Lots of that wonderful stuff. Now then, what have I got here? Right, I'm just getting the Facebook page up here. Morgan and Alicia. All right, mateys, says John Carroll. Absolutely, John. 
Lovely to have you with us as well. Welcome, 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 everyone. If you can make sure that everybody knows we're on and they can come and join us. Stephen Austin. Hi, Scotty. Hello. How are you? Um, did man actually walk on the moon, Scotty? Well, Charles A. Diver, I think the first thing that was said when they landed on the moon was, no way could a cow jump over that. That's what I think it was. So there we are. But we shall find out. Did man land on the moon? Uh, Jonathan Gold, think you do, one of the nation's finest broadcasters. Jonathan, top man, absolutely top man. Listened to you for years. Had a good day interviewing on the radio. Says Tony Mac, I missed that. Willie Logan is there. Think you do. Which you on during the week? No, we're on Facebook Live. And uh, El Salvador, Stallione, Savior, Scotty, Radio FM. Time to branch out. Absolutely, Scotty Radio FM. Sean McLeod, dinky do, bring back the Bonnie Lassie, Scotty, and the regulars. Whatever happened to Big Ben? Nearly Davy Cooper McCallum, fantastic Big Ben. Hey, says Jonathan Gold. Hey, Jonathan, I hope you're still entertaining massive, massive audiences. You are a big star, my friend. I can tell you that. Nick Baldy, dinky do. That's it, Jonathan Gold. He's got one of those wonderful voices. Uh, there seems to be lots of Changes on radio these days. A lot of English producers. Yes, no one has landed in the moon, says El Salvador. Well, not today. Good evening, Scotty, says Susan Forrest and sends a kiss. Mwah! I send you a kiss back, Susan, down in Lancashire there. Long-time listener and um, long-time viewer. Now, so there we are. We like that. Lots of listening, lots of viewing. Now, I have here my trusty drink. Mm. Just in case I get a wee truth on me, you know what I mean? We don't want a truth. So there we are. And I can send this round. I can share this now. So I shall just do that. Share. Excellent stuff. And let everybody know we're on. Christopher Love, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you all with us. Excellent. So that's that. I'm just sharing it now. Um, talk all the good talk show hosts off why they've taken them. They have John Bar. We never understood it because the talk is huge. I mean, you've seen the pyramid that Scotty McClue causes when he goes on radio. Do you enjoy mince and tatties for your dinner? I do, Alan. Yes, I'm a great mince and tatty man. Thomas Hamilton. Hello, pal. Hello, Tom. Lovely to have you with us. Peter Dale Nevins, a very, very fine fellow indeed, has joined us. That's excellent. Radio's very boring without you, says Tony Mack. Well, we just need to get that going. What I think I might do, how would you all be for an evening pop-up here and we just all get together on here? Hope you've had a good day, says Thomas. I have, Thomas. Thank you so much. And I hope you've had a good day. Great to see you, Scotty, says Neil Hunter. Lovely, Neil. I'm just going to um, share again, folks. I think this is important. <coughs> Talk radio is the best, Scotty. Talk radio is always good. And uh, we need to find a way mm, of getting everyone interact here. There's the wonderful Sanjeev Kuli. Hello, Sanjeev. Lovely to have you with us. A big, big star. Wonderful. That's what we want. Um, David Cordingly is the plan to get more slots in the radio, Scotty. I've been in hospital recently, so I've been out of the loop. Well, we hope you get strong and well. James Allison's watching. Julie Shaw, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Julie. Lovely to have you with us. Are you still on Nation Radio? Yes, Chris McNaldy McNally. Um, we're on the radio on a Sunday night. 10 o'clock sharp, Nation Radio. Scotty, you don't need radio, says El Salvador. Uh, Alex Robertson, Dinky Do, have you ever considered doing another live show, possibly at the Pavilion? We're thinking about that, Alan. There's a whole massive amount of things happening with Scotty McLean at the moment. I'm maxed out, to be honest with you. Uh, Donna McMillan, Dinky Do, good to see you back on Facebook, says Thomas. I know we did the Sunday evenings and thousands upon thousands come and join us on the Sunday evening. You're a radio diamond, says John Boyle. So are you, John. I thank you. You are a diamond, sir. Fantastic stuff. We're in our uh, 35th year broadcasting nationally. Hi, Scotty Dinky Do, Kenny Hogg. 
How lovely to have you with us. All these fabulous people, just amazing, getting together live here on Facebook with a wee chat with your old chum, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share this out and just let everybody know that we are live right now. I think that is very important. So if you could do the same, guys, that would be brilliant. And I'll just let them know on the different pages. There's a Scotty McClue page. Here. Scotty! Um, you should get the phone in back on here. Why have you had more stations than the Flying Scotsman? What happens, William, as you know, if something is very, very successful, somebody comes along and messes it all up. So they are uh, Scott FM, fantastic. Some uh, absolute dafty who should stand on the naughty step wearing a dunce's hat, facing the wall for the rest of his puff decided to uh, take it off. Can you also say hello to my son, Benjamin? He's playing his PS4 just now. Says, I can, Alan, all these hellos to the family. Now, let me just get type, 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 type. You can all do the same, you know. Type, 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 type. And I shall just put live. What have we got? Yes. Live now. Okay. So there we are, and we're on the old live stream right now. Let everybody know. Scotty, you bring them. Wherever you go, says El Salvador Stallione, Sal Saviour, in, uh, in, down in Salford, in Manchester, outside Manchester, 35 years. I remember we did, the day we met, like yesterday, says the wonderful Rod Hardesty, my first wizard of the big switchboard, and boy, is he a wizard. Fantastic. Respect, Julie, from El Salvador. Come on, Scotty, get on your own blower. Yes, and take a few calls from you. I think we could probably manage that here. I'm just wondering. Uh, where's the bonnet? The bonnet's here, Alan. I just put the bonnet off. There we go. Do you like the bonnet on or do you like the bonnet off? People have got different views. You're a radio legend. Uh, taking you off the radio is committing radio suicide. I know. Well, they did commit radio suicide. We had almost a quarter of a million people listening every half hour. And now it's very difficult, as you know, for anybody to get that in a week. Uh, Rod Hardest is laughing. Scotty, do you think Brexit will cause us all mayhem? Actually, Neil, I do. I think it will be economic annihilation. And I think uh, it will be an absolute disaster. A lot of dafties don't quite understand how it works. So there you are. So I think it will. The ledger's back, says Robert T. Kerr. Do you see the big lovable lassie, Scotty? Yes, I am still in touch with all my lovable lassies. Hello, Scotty. It's been a while. I haven't seen your shows in a while. Glad you're back, though. Take care, Richard Hill. Dinky do. Lovely to have you on here. The business, the bonnet, says John Ball. You like the bonnet, John? You think the baldy, the baldy's a wee bit too much, is it? Baldy, the, the pate is too much for the nation. We'll stick that on for a bit. So there we are. Do you like the bonnet? Guys, bonnet on or off. So start uh, start telling us what you think. Scott, who was the best radio MD you worked for? Um, says William Patterson. Um, yes, was, was Jay Crawford up there? I didn't really work. 4G as such. Um, he was through at Scott FM when I was in Q96. So there you are. Uh, have you ever been to Blackpool? Alan McGee. I used to go every Friday and Saturday night to Blackpool because I was very big, still am apparently, in uh, in Blackpool because I broadcast in Lancashire. God bless the Queen, Scotty. Scotty's one of a course. Off, Scotty. So there you are. Make sure we're cold. There you are. Oh, look at that mess of me. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Scotty McClure, how many years did you do at Scotty FM? Uh, just about, just under three, I think it was, Kareem, three years. And uh, we had the audience up, as I say, to uh, around... Uh, 200, 250,000 per half hour. You know, I mean, that's that's over um, a tenth of the whole of Scotland listening to you, the whole of central Scotland listening there. So 10% of central Scotland, pardon me, or listen to Scotty McClue. Half and half, says Rab. Half bonnet on, half bonnet off. You look like Marlon Brando without it. Hey, you don't want to uh, get on the wrong side of me, okay? Oh. All right. I want to tell the boy I want to see him in the morning. Uh, he's my son. Okay. 
Scott FM, the best days. Ah, well, we don't know. I think the best days are yet to come. So uh, I think there's massive, massive things happening right now. I can tell you, no, I can't really tell you about them at the moment, but there's big, big, big things happening right now. But also remember, we're on Nation Radio uh, across central Scotland on a Sunday night, 96.3 in the FM, on www.nationradio.scot. Uh, why not, Scotty? You're a legend. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Yeah, no, I think there's very, very big things coming for Scotty McClure. I'll tell you what I'd like. I'd like a wee part in a movie, right? I might play a baddie, something like maybe a Bond movie, something like that, and just pop up and give it the old, uh, Mr. Bond, you have a problem. <laughs> you girls watching, so they are fantastic. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you. Now, did we get sharing there? Did I manage to share? Um, I shall, I shall share. Um, fantastic. Right, have you all been sharing? Are you all sharing? Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, so I'm just going to share to the group, the Scotty McClure group. I think that's fantastic. Share on the timeline? No, we're sharing to the group. There we are, and the group is Scotty McClure. There we are, wonderful stuff. Group Scotty McClure. Just a little bit of sharing, guys. Uh, I didn't know you did impressions, Scotty. Lol, says Alex Robertson. Oh, yeah, we do that. Do you enjoy a hot curry, Alan McGee? I can remember going with a big bass opera singer to uh, an Indian restaurant. And he had one of those voices that spoke right down like that, you see. And uh, he said to the guy, there's the wonderful Don O'Neill watching. Top, top, top sales lady. Wonderful. Fantastic. Dinky do, Don O'Neill. Lovely to have you with us. A very warm welcome. And uh, one of the top sales ladies with, uh, with Nation Radio. There you are, Donna O'Neill. So if she calls on your business, you take her call because she is absolutely outstanding. There we are. And uh, I would hope it says that in her card as well. So anyway, big opera singer is in there and uh, we're having a, a, a wee uh, chick murray. Uh, with all this knife crime going about, when is this soft country going to stand up to the government, get rid of this epidemic? We need to talk to our youngsters. Um, you could give Roberts a run for his money as far as Bond baddies go, Scotty. Oh, yes, Bobby. Fantastic. Robert T. Care. I thank you. But I'd get on there. I'd do my baddie. I'd do my stuff. And we go, oh, he's a baddie. Oh, he's a baddie. Why? All that sort of stuff. Mr. Bond, we shall probably not meet again. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine it? Well, I'm going to bash me back this year. I hope so, Alan. That would be excellent stuff. Let me get this in Scotty McClure. I'm trying to get this group in here and get this shared. You're keeping me back, you lot. Trying to get on with my work here, for goodness sake. Yes, the Hogmanay bash should be back. There's always the Hogmanay bash is huge because the um, existing television and radio companies do Hogmanay so very, very poorly. So uh, Scotty McClure has to step in. Um, I'll just put um, Capitals Live. Now, those of you that are members of the Scotty McClure fan group, Christopher Mosley, what a fine man, dinky-doo. <coughs> Scotty, do you think crabs will think that fish are flying? There's Ricky Skinner. I, I fit Aberdeen. He's up in Aberdeen. Oh, Ricky, fit like who's your doos? What's happening up in Aberdeen? Did you hear about the fishmonger that got the sack? Says Tony Mick. He was gutted about it. Oh, so there we are. Excellent stuff. Right? Can everybody? How long have I been on here? Can everybody share, 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 share? It's not the same without Scotch and Rye at the New Year. I know Alan, Ricky, lovely, lovely man, great friend of mine, and um, his sketches were outstanding. Jack Mulroy as well, Francie and Josie. Jack was wonderful, and uh, you all know the story about me meeting when Ricky and Jack did the final big show in the pavilion, and, um, and Jack took me aside and said, Scotty. Mary and I listen to your show every day, something. See when you finish. We just pit it off. 
<laughs> there we are. You're right, said Julie Shaw. I know. We need to get better entertainment, Max. Wonderful. And we need to be doing that. Right, guys. Um, can you all, as I say, share? Tell everybody we're on. If you've got some big people to share it with, do let them know. So there we are. Julie's quite right, Julie Shaw. And uh, did you ever meet Mark McManus? Yes, I did. I remember Mark, I used to work at Scottish Television. And um, I remember having a chat to Mark on the stairs. He was, uh, he was a lovely character, actually, a lovely man. Um, and he, he, he just says to me, Hello, how are you? <laughs> I've met... All the greats. Well, there's not all of them. There's there's more to come. Because as I say, the big one has yet to come. Uh, Scotty, you know Derek Deluxe says Jack Beatty. Interesting one, Jack. I'm not sure what you mean there. So there we are. But yes, Mark McManus, wonderful. Because of course, in those days they were in filming Taggart. Um, you know, fantastic stuff. I still enjoy watching Taggart. I was watching it last night. Um, so there you go. Wonderful. And uh, Jack Beatty. Uh, there's lots of people I know. So there's no point in putting, do you know this one? And do you know that one? And do you know the next one? So there we go. There's lots of people I know. And there's lots of people I don't know. So there you go. Very, very important. Right. Uh, what else would we Taggart, legend. Absolutely, Taggart is one of them. Robert T. Kerr, I am very, very, very impressed with your knowledge of uh, film and television. I know that's what you do, but I am mega impressed. I can see great things happening for you, so press on in there. There's the wonderful Wayne Taylor, one of the finest um, sales representatives that uh, that I've ever met, a super chap, very, very nice man, and uh, he can tell you all about airtime. There you are. What were you doing the night Tommy Cooper died? Well, I have to tell you that um, when I was on Red Rose Radio and um, I had a guy on and I was just going quiet. I wasn't, he was being such an idiot that I wasn't even responding to him and he was going, I know you're there, Scotty. I know you're there, Scotty. You see, and he's gone on like this. And um, I thought to myself, we're getting all this going on. And then this old lady phoned, lovely lady, and she says, I need your page in America. Thank you, do watching Scotty McClure in America. Very naughty, I need your page watching Scotty McClure when you're supposed to be working. Tut -tut. There you are, not at all. Lovely to hear from you, Anita. I am a big fan. Fantastic. William Cameron, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. So anyway, what was I telling you about? Um, remind me, what was I telling you about there? Oh, yes. So this old lady phones and she said, I said, hello. And she said, oh, Scotty, thank God you're all right, love. I remember the night Mr. Cooper died. Oh, so there, I'm right in the middle of my day, says Anita. Anita, what time is it with you? Fantastic. Andrew Stewart says, Q96 Paisley, yes. Did Mark McManus call you a dunderhead? A great Scottish word. No, he wouldn't have done that. How's it, gentlemen? Uh, here's a topic worth talking about, says Chris. Right, go on, Chris. Give Paul Dempster and Liam Glenn Dinning a shout out. They're getting mad with it. And would like you to join them, says Ryan Thompson. Trish McLaren, hi. So there we are. Hi, Trish. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, Scotty McClure, pensions going up to 75 for people. Kareem Sakaria, I wonder if this is just um, a desperate bid by, um, you know, the right wing parties to try and do that. Do you dip, dip your biscuits in your tea? I do, Alan McGee. Um, you know, I think so. That's, I can't see them wanting to put the pension up unless they're robbing our pension funds. We need to keep an eye on all that. Do you think Boris will call an election in order to allow a no deal Brexit as parliament would be dissolved? Well, if it gets to that stage, your well deserved break, uh, you're my well deserved break. It's 20 minutes before 1 p.m. And it's a page. Woo! Only teasing about that, by the way. It's lovely to have you with us watching in America. There you are. Because you're in California, am I right? Do you like Boris Johnstone? So, Jack P. 
pity. I don't know him. How's Lord Clyde, Scotty? He's wonderful, Jerry. In a visit to the park today, he's going to be 13 in a few weeks' time. And he'd have a visit right round the park, just getting on with it, you know. Uh, the photo behind you, what age are you in it? Oh, it was just last week. I think that one. Is that that one or that one? So there you are. There's that one as well. Hi, Dinky Doo, Scotty. Good evening. Um, to you, love the broadcast, says Colin Mingus or Colin Menzies. Yeah, man, thanks, uh, says Donny. Andrew Wishmaster Williams, come and join us. Lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. I'm just going to do another share and let everybody know that we're live now. So there we go. That's gone up. This has been shared on your timeline. Woo! Uh, Alan, thanks for asking. Yes, but I'm an East Coaster. Sorry, Anita. Yes, absolutely. Tell us again where Josh refresh ever his memory. Uh, Scotty, do you know Boris? Says Jack. I don't know him. I've just said, oh, the wee soul. Happy birthday to him when it comes. Thanks, Jilly. He's been wonderful. He's a real little trooper. And um, he had what's called a fibrocartilaginous embolism, an FCE. So there you are. Alex, he's missing my mum very much, and you always cheer him up. Says, what's that? Well, sorry about that. Tony Mac, can you say a word to my wee dad? Alex, he's missing my mum very much. You always cheer him up. Hello, Mr. Mac. Dinky do from Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of McClue. You miss the one over your right shoulder. That one there. Oh, yes, that's a wee. The dog's there. Can you see the dog? There you are. There's the dog sitting as well. I always like to take the dog along to a graduation. Um, Alan Grant, Dinky Doo, Scotty, do you wish you ever could have seen Elvis? His live show in Vegas, he was 25 when he released It's Now or Never, and he could hit the F scale note, which was rare for someone his age. Yes, and it says C more. Fantastic. So, wonderful stuff. Why are you not on Nation Radio? I'm on Nation Radio, John McConaughey, Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp. I wasn't on last night because the producer wasn't well. That's correct, mate. Scottish Mingus and Mingus, English. So, Mingus. Mingies or Mingus? Is Mingus all right, Colin? Uh, not Menzies. So there you are. Um, can you say happy birthday to my pal, uh, Jack? I think what I'm going to do with you, get me a bit fed up with this. So I think what I'm going to do with you is say goodbye to you. There you go. Jack's gone because uh, he's just being very, very silly. He's gone. He won't, he won't be able to see us now and we'll never, ever hear of him again. So there you go. That's what happens to... Uh, to naughty boys. All right, so off you go. So keep it nice and fresh and clean, my dears, and we will be fine. Um, so there we go. Now, Diana Ross or Cher, somebody's asking. Wonderful stuff. Unless a person is in, let me see again. What have we got here? Yes, Stephanie, Stephanie Lavelle. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Unless a person is at luncheon, there's not many opportunities to enjoy tea. Iced tea is popular. What's your weather like, Anita? Do tell. We're right on to the world here, guys. So we're talking to America. Um, I don't think he'll answer that, says Julie Shaw. No. Bye-bye, Jack, says Anita. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jack. So they are. Jack went. Wonderful stuff. Alistair King is watching. Thank you, do the wonderful Alistair King. Thank you, do good, sir. I still have my spark plug jammed in. It's broken off. Hi, Scotty. Hello from Dublin, says Gordon Ritchie. Thank you, do Gordon. And lovely to have you on here from Dublin, I say. I like Dublin very, very much indeed. Uh, whatever you say, Scotty, hope to chat with you live in the weekend, mate, on the phone, Nation Radio, number one radio station. Absolutely, Colin. Colin Menzies or Colin Mingus? How does Colin prefer it? I like to get people's names right. I think it's important. That's what we do. Absolutely fantastic. We've got another few minutes, guys. You want to come on? And um, Ryan Thompson says, Jack Chafer or Shane Harris going to say hello to Kath McLaren. She's my mum. She's really poorly, Scotty. Says Trish McLaren. We say hello to Kath. Kath McLaren gets strong and well.
We Trish is on there, and she's concerned about you. Hello from Figgy, says Andrew Stewart. Hello, Andrew Stewart. We love Figgy. Do you know that when uh, J&P Coates, the family lived in Figgy? That was their address, Fergus Lee Park. The Coates, the Fred people. Do you want me to remove it for you, says Alice Okay. Um, no, I've got somebody coming tomorrow, Alistair, but thank you for that. Is it possible to remove a broken off one? It's almost level with the head. So there you are. Shout out to Adam from Bradford. He's absolutely you. He's here watching with me, says Yasmin Mohammed. Hello, Yasmin. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty, says William Collins. He loves you, says Yasmin Mohammed. Dinky Doo, Yasmin. You're looking radiant, Scotty, says Gordon Ritchie. I am in the pink, as they say, Gordon. James Finn, lovely to have you with us. Mm. That's delicious. A wee touch of the orange juice. So there we are. No cod liver oil, of course. Cod liver oil and the orange juice. Uh, thank you, Scotty, says Trish. Not at all, Trish. Apologise, Scotty. I have got to go. Got to see a man about a dog yeah, and all that. Take care, big man. Take care, Rab Hill. Look after your dear self and dinky do from Scotty McClure. Excellent. Now, let's see if we can get these numbers up a bit, folks. I want some more sharing, so we'll share in a group. I'll see if we can share to um, one or two other groups here. What about this one? Here's a Facebook one. That's all there. That's all to help us and uh, let everybody know. If we let everybody know, what I was thinking about, could you stand it if we um, maybe did this every night? <laughs> did you enjoy your wee holiday, Scotty? I did. So there we are. And uh, what have we got there? Hang on. Uh, Hidden Hills is where I come. Uh, weather on the West Coast varies from 80 degrees Fahrenheit to hundreds. Shall I tell my neighbour, Kim Kardashian, hello from you. Only about 40 minutes from Hidden Hills. Yes, absolutely. Say dinky do to all the Kardashians from Scotty McClure. Wonderful. Uh, Dad and all of us send our love to you, says Tony Mac. Thanks, Tony. That means a lot. Yes, it's simple to remove with the correct tools. I have every mechanical tool you can think of. Uh, any Chick Murray jokes, says Gordon Rich. Yeah, Chick Murray jokes. Um, I was walking down the road the other day and I slipped. And when I slipped, I fell. And when I fell, an old lady came up. She said, did you just fall? I said, no, no. I'm trying to break a bar of chocolate in my pocket. So there we go. Now, oh, there's a wee chick one for you. I went into the doctor's the other day and I said, can you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? <laughs> a wee bit of chick for you. Um, Elaine G says, hi, hi, Scotty. You should do a live one night and let people join you on it, says Julie Shaw. Yes, we were wondering about that, Julie, actually, do a live. Uh, you're not so much a shock jock now as you were on Red Rose Radio, says John McConaughey. Well, I think, John, the height of the shock jock went because the world is now so serious. Um, and I think that's part of the problem. Uh, so I like to now just be funny. Uh, I don't mean to be funny, but apparently I am. So there we go. And um, more of the better, Scotty, says Colin Mingus. Absolutely. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Well, my feeling is if people don't want to join in, it doesn't matter. Has any other persons noticed how the verges around the roads are no longer being attended to? Now, send the criminals out with a high vis on says William Patterson. Good point, William. That is very, very good. Well done, I say. Now then, here's Wally Logan. What's happened with you taking Skype calls? Well, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to work out. We had problems with, with balancing and what have you as well. But we'll maybe be able to just do it on Facebook and get people on here. I don't have Messenger on this particular um what do you call it, device, on this device. I don't have message on this device because it interrupts the broadcast. Um, but we'll see. There must be a way. What is FaceTime? How does that work? Think you do. The smiles you lose cannot be counted. Absolutely. Anita Page, you clever, clever lady. Andrew McGregor's watching a fine man. Dinky do, Andrew. Is it true you were a teacher, Scotty? Yes. 
Uh, 41 years, so there you are, excellent. Uh, went into a shop, bought, shop, bought an advent calendar from D. There we go, an advent came on there, sorry about that. Now keep shooting out broccoli and cauliflower. I think I've got florets. <laughs> Bring back National Service, Scotty. What's your thoughts on that? Well, Colin Mingus, uh, or Colin Menzies, that is a fair point. So there you are. Bringing back National Service. But why should the Army or the Navy or the Air Force get all the idiots? This is what we're talking about. Um, somebody was asking about Brexit earlier. Do I think it will cause damage? I think it will cause untold Damage. I think what's happening here, a handful of xenophobes and hoory Henrys have decided to get us out of Europe. And people are saying, well, look at what we spend in Europe. Look at what it costs us. It's our EU. It's actually our EU. We, right, in the UK are the EU. We in the UK are Europeans, have been for 50 years. It was Churchill's dearest wish to have a United States of Europe. Will folks visiting Scotland need a special addition to their passport? Should you break free? Um, no, I shouldn't think so. I think all that can be sorted out. You see, Scottish nationalism is the antithesis of English nationalism or British nationalism. These are right-wing groups. Scottish nationalism is more a centre group. It's, 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 it's about the people. So there we are. Hi, Scotty, says C. Quite dang. So there we are. <coughs> so they're not out to create problems. They're out to sort things. Brexit will create a lot of problems. Ooh. And then the other argument, of course, is, what's well, democracy. It's what the people voted for. It's not. 1.2 million out of almost 70 million voted from that. So 0.07% actually is the majority that want to leave the EU. And that was three years ago on a very flawed opinion poll. So, I mean, that will have changed by now, I would think. Uh, but do do pop your opinions on and let us know what you think. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClure with you. We're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. And lovely to have you along. Lots of quality chat. I've only got a few more minutes. Mark Andrews, lovely to have you with us. Evelyn Fraser, what happened to Sunday Chat Show? It's fine, still on. It wasn't on last night because we had a problem. The producer had taken ill and we couldn't get uh, anybody in, in time. So these things are very, very finely balanced. So bless them. So we send love to the producer. Uh, we should move to Scotland. I wouldn't have flash, says so say quite time. I know, but... You see, there's, there should never be, I don't think we should have independence until every Scot can stand up and say they have no hatred in them. Never, ever, ever hate anything because you're shutting off an avenue of learning. I mean, I've been arguing with some people on Facebook, some of them have been quite vile. There is not a word I like, but that's true. Comic McCusker, dinky do. Yeah, I'm for the people in the US. There have been too many bringing paganism with them. There's so many little gods being worshipped. You're right, Anita. Absolutely, you've got a very fair point. You're always right. Very, very clever lady, our Anita. Anita Page in the States. Mwah! Fantastic. Great to have you with us, and dinky do. Now, pardon me, I'm just going to do some more sharing here. And um, there we go. Share to another page and let everybody know that we are live. And if you can all do the same, that would be tremendous. Now, you haven't said to me if you'd like this um, on a regular basis. We used to do it every Sunday evening at the same time between 9 and 10. Are uh, you still on Nation Radio at night? Yes, Craig Clark, Sunday nights. Had a good day interviewing on the radio. Thanks for inspiring me into radio. Scotty, night, Scotty. Night, Tony Mac. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I'm just put live streaming there. Wonderful. And get that on. Live streaming now. Yes. And if we send that over to them, that will let them know what's what. Uh, wonderful stuff. And join me at 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio on a Sunday night. It is always good.
to have you with us, and of course, the more the merrier. Yes, Scotty, I'd like this to be regular. Thank you, Julie Shaw. I'm thinking about it. What's the best time, though? Uh, bring back the single fit mother, says William Patterson. Scotty, thanks for all the pleasure you've given over the years, says Dennis Dennis Alcock. Uh, the more Scotty, the better. Hope I can get through on Sunday night, says Con Mays. It's very busy. There's Joseph Schiavone watching. Have I said it right, Joe? Have I got that right? Do tell. I say, did I send that through? I must have sent it through. It's disappeared. There we are. Excellent stuff. Um, yes, of course you get through on Sunday night. And there's old McClue looking wild. Talk show. Wonderful. Um, we could talk about fatties and leggings, said Julie Shaw. Absolutely. We need to look after these people who are overweight. I've been Presbyterian, Baptist, Lutheran, etc. At least my family supported God's church. Alan Butts watching God in Drysdale. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue. Yes, I love the pop ups, says Susan Forrest in Lancashire there. Thank you, Susan. Very much appreciated because they're very much fun to do. And uh, can everybody set their notifications and tell their friends to set their notifications? And keep sharing and sharing and sharing tonight's broadcast. Very important. Anyway, it's time I wasn't here. It's just after nine o'clock, and uh, it's uh, it's time for your for your beds. I have to go. My battery's almost flat. Nice to see Scotty. Love to you and Clyde. Mwah. Take care, Julie. Always lovely to hear from you. Scotty, is women drivers still a touchy subject? Craig Clark. Well, the women, you see. Yes, I don't think they are really cut out to drive cars, to be honest. Scotty, where's the bonnet? Miss the old topics. Bad women driving. Stephen McMahon. Bonnet. Here, Stephen. For your house, Scotty. Uh, you have a great night, Scotty, says Colin. Dinky do, Colin. Lovely having you all with us. And this is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. Shall I sing you the goodbye song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zane. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Dinky do, everybody. What about the fatties? Right. <laughs> Way. Stephen McMahon. Dinky do, everybody. Have a gorgeous night. Mwah. From Scotty McClue, the first lot of the internet and the world stop broadcaster, I say dinky do to every single one of you. Ta la, lads.